live from Spartan Field in South Torrance, California, it's Mustang Football 2009. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chris Lee, alongside, as always, with Jeremy Sadowski. And we are here to bring you Maricosta Mustang High School football against the South Torrance Spartans. Jeremy, of course, uh, this is game two of the Mustangs' uh, young season. Mustangs have uh, played well, I thought, overall last week. Uh, didn't come away with the victory. That's okay. That's really not the emphasis of uh, Coach Don Morrow in these uh, preseason games. Uh, Jeremy, uh, what can you tell us about Coach Don Morrow and his uh, emphasis in the preseason these past few years? Well, Chris, as you're well aware of, Coach uh, Morrow started his uh, coaching career right here at South Torrance High School. And one thing Coach Morrow likes to do is really test his players early in the season. He believes that you, you get through that preseason schedule tested, ready for league play, ready for the playoffs, whereas some other coaches like to schedule some lesser talent and rack up big points and easy wins and give their teams a false sense of security, whereas Don Morrow likes to test his team put them into situations to where they have to overcome adversity and that makes them stronger and builds character. And you know, from our days when Bob Fish used to do the same with us, it is about building that character which helps the players later in the season. Of course, uh, last week saw some stellar performances by the Mustangs. Of course, uh, quarterback number 11, Kyle DeMarco, as we see out there, uh, one of the captains for the Mustangs. Uh, of course, out there also with uh, Andrew Brennan, number 70, number 72, Jordan Tavai, and of course, number eight, Mike Miller Time Miller. Great job on offense by the Mustangs, uh, certainly in spirits. Uh, number six, Morgan Reese had some nice runs in the uh, backfield. Of course, uh, Mike Miller, one of the captains, makes some uh, great catches in that uh, opening game. Big tight end, big target for the Mustangs, 6'3", 230-pound senior. And, of course, we uh, really got to see what I think is going to be one of the dominating factors for the Mustangs offense this season, and that is the Kyle to Kyle connection, as I like to call it. Quarterback Kyle DeMarco to number 19, Kyle Nunn, the senior wide receiver, 6'3", 195 pounds, worked for two touchdowns last week. Let's see if they can keep that offensive spurt going tonight against the Spartans. Yeah, Chris, on the defensive side of the ball, we had Rico Wright, who had a great job in the defensive backfield. And he did sprain his uh, thumb, however, so it'll be interesting to see how he's able to deal with that. He has a cast. It is uh, padded up so he won't hurt any of the other players, but it'll be interesting to see how he deals with that adversity. It will be interesting and a good test tonight. The Mustangs against the South Torrance Spartans. We are just about set for the opening kick. Mustangs hoping, hoping here on uh, the opening kick, they will be kicking off to get their defense on the field and into the game early, really get that defensive presence established because, of course, uh, Coach Lee, the defensive coordinator for the Mustangs, uh, really looking to get this group fired up. The defense did play very, very well last week put a lot of pressure on the quarterback. That will be a big emphasis this season, especially with the type of quarters and safeties the Mustangs have, including Jackson Morrow and, as you mentioned, Rico Wright. There is the opening kick. It is deep. It is out of the backfield. That is a touchback. South Torrance will start with the ball at the 20-yard line. First and 10. We are here on the opening possession of this contest, the Maricosta Mustangs in the road of white jerseys against the South Torrance Spartans in the green and black. At quarterback John Consetti, quick throw out there and it is complete. That is Kulev with the catch, finally hit out of bounds. You go right with the big hit. Definitely uh, expect to see a lot of hard hits from these Mustangs 
uh, secondary team of Rico Wright and Jackson Morrow, especially hard hitters in that backfield. That is, however, a first down for the Spartans. They open in the air. Consenting now back to the air. And that one is read nicely by the Mustangs. And oh, forced out of bounds by Kyle Nunn, number 19 for the Mustangs with a very physical tackle. Two yard loss. Morgan Reese involved as well. Consetti in shotgun. Second down play now. Second and 12. Oh. Balls in the air and oh, incomplete. Good downfield coverage. None again. Almost comes up with the pick. Yeah, Chris, we'll see a lot of no huddle by South Torrance. It's not really to hurry up to play, but to limit substitutions. Third down and 12 now for the Spartans. Changing the play here. That is one advantage to the no huddle. It gives them plenty of time to change the play call. Consetti now, play action. He's rolling left, he's under pressure, Mustangs, oh, Jackson Morrow comes up with a monster hit. Knocks Consetti out of bounds, that will force a fourth down punting situation. I'm gonna call that one a sack. Looked like he got Consetti a good yard or two back. Nice job, Jackson Morrow really turning on the Jets there at the end of that play. Fourth down and punting now for the Spartans. Bad snap, bobbled, ooh, and almost blocked by the Mustangs. None back to receive. Not much there, a flag is down. Let's see what the call is. Mustangs uh, coaching staff thinks that one, that one might be against the Spartans. Let's see, and no, in fact, it's against the Mustangs. That will uh, hit the Mustangs back to the 40 yard line. Still pretty good field position here for the Mustangs on their opening possession. Kyle Nunn in motion. And it's a handoff straight on the left hand side there, right off left tackle. That was, of course, number six. Morgan Reese for the Mustangs. Morgan did get the large majority of the carries in the backfield for the Mustangs. Second down situation now, second and two. Mustangs put the shift on. Three receivers set now to the left of quarterback DeMarco and it's a run play again. And oh, flag comes in late. It looked like Morgan Reese was able to get enough for the first, but let's see what the call is and it's face mask against this Barton. So either way, the Mustangs will end up with the first down on the play, their first first down of this contest here in the first quarter. Mustangs now three back formation on that one, straight up the middle. First, we saw a lot of uh, three back running uh, last season for the Mustangs. Be interesting to see if they uh, run that formation as well this year. Yeah, Chris, uh, one player that we won't see in the backfield today is J.R. Tavai, who sprained an ankle during practice. We should see him next week. Play action now, DeMarco, he's rolling right, throws right, and oh, had a man. Jackson Morrow, who's uh, been very active already this contest, not able to come up with the grab. That's going to create a third and long eight. We call it third and nine situation for the Mustangs. Tight formation, basically four wide receivers for the Mustangs. DeMarco rolls right, throws right, has a man, and ooh, that time Jackson Morrow comes up with the catch. It forces his way out of bounds. I'm not sure who tackled who on that one, Jeremy. Yeah, Chris, it appears that Jackson Morrow got the best of the DB as he just slammed him down to the ground. He'll think twice before tackling Jackson next time. Meantime, that's another first down for the Mustangs. DeMarco now under center. It's a handoff. Uh-oh, that's a big hole. And that could be a touchdown. Oh, just down at the two. Flag is down. Of course, that is Morgan Reese with another great carry. Morgan uh, a little upset right away. Thought that one wasn't going to get called. Didn't see the flag already down. 
very blatant face match, that's for sure. That's kind of a dangerous situation. It could, it would certainly hurt someone that yanking that. Luckily, Morgan is fine, and that will be a first and goal for the Mustangs. Morgan almost broke that one in for the score. Impressive first drive here for the Mustangs. It's Morgan again, this time on the left-hand side. He's fighting forward, fighting forward. Oh, it's close. Waiting to get a call here. Looks like he's gonna be just sure who it is, just shy. Second down and inches. Can expect, of course, the Mustangs most likely to keep it on the ground. In fact, there is that three back formation and there is a touchdown quarterback keeper straight up the middle, Kyle DeMarco, touchdown Mustangs. Mustangs went with the three back formation. We just got done talking about that formation, but that time Kyle DeMarco kept it himself, got the score. Now on for the point after attempt is number 12, Alex DeRoach Narocha. That kick is up, it's high, it's straight, it is good. That makes the score of this contest seven to nothing. Maricosta over the Spartans. Picturesque evening here in South Torrance. Sun just beginning to set as we edge closer and closer to the end of summer, the official end of summer. Already starting to feel that cool briskness to that air. Meantime, another touchback. Alex the Roach Narocha on fire. Of course, uh, Alex, the uh, senior kicker for the Mustangs, handles not only the kickoffs, but the point after attempts and field goals. And is a member of the soccer team. Meantime now, Seth Torrance trailing now, seven to nothing. Quarterback Kinsetti in shotgun. Now he's under center. Takes a snap, it's a quick pitch. Read nicely by the Mustangs, and oh, that was number 72, Jordan Tavai, right in the middle of that hit. Great job by uh, Jordan to really fight off his blocker and not give up any ground at all and force the loss of yardage by the Spartans now on second and long. Checking the plays, Kinsetti again steps under center. It's play action this time. He's looking deep. He throws in the double coverage, and oh, that's an interception. Number two, Rico Wright literally wrestles that ball away for an interception for the Mustangs. Turnover, Maricosta. Yeah, Chris, it appears that the South Torrance quarterback wanted to try and take advantage of Rico Wright because of his broke or uh, sprained hand and cast in hand as he tests him deep. But however, Rico's up for the challenge as he makes the interception despite having a cast. Incredible play. I'd have to say this is definitely a nomination for the Bob Fish catch of the day, Chris. Early nomination there, certainly well-deserving. What a great job, really almost one-handed towards the end of that play with the, <laughs> the casted up hand, ripping that ball away. Great job, Rico Wright, giving the ball right back to the Mustangs offense. Meantime now, number six for the Mustangs, Morgan Reese with the carry straight up the middle. Gonna bring up, oh, a second and long, a flag comes in late here. Let's see what the call is. It looks like it may be against the Spartans. Didn't see what uh, happened in the middle of that uh, scrimmage there at the end, but whatever it was, the officials did not like it. First and 10 now, Mustangs play action. DeMarco under pressure though, and ooh! Thrown backwards, literally. DeMarco was not a fan of uh, that tackle there at all. Early 
early uh, bad blood here between these two uh, South Bay teams. Geographically very close to each other. DeMarco now sends Kyle Nunn in motion. And this is a run play straight up the middle. Morgan Reese pounding his way forward close to the 40 yard line. We'll call that the 42. It's gonna bring up a third down situation. Third and 11 for the Mustangs. Man in motion. DeMarco back to pass. Completes out of the flat. And finally brought down, that's of course Nick Villarosa. Yes, and you are with a nice catch out of the backfield, bringing the Mustangs close to a first down, but just shy of being fourth and short. Nice catch, Nick Villasenor. Mustangs decide to go for it on fourth down, and they get the first. Yeah, Chris, uh, I remember Nick uh, Via La Rosa back from our Pop Warner days, as he was a great defensive lineman that played for us. I can understand you flashing back to those days. A fellow number 39, Nick Via Senor, wears it well. Mustangs now, Morgan Reese. But they run straight up on the left-hand side, and oh, finally makes it all the way down to the five-yard line. Going to bring up another first and goal. Morgan Reese running hard and running well for the Mustangs already this contest. And in motion, that man is Kyle Nunn. It's play action. DeMarco rolling. Right, sees the opening, keeps it, and gets it for another Mustang touchdown. Mustangs get on the board again here in the opening quarter. Nice run, good open field vision by Kyle DeMarco. Yeah, Chris, I like DeMarco's deci decision to run on that play and his decision to run a lot this season. Instead of trying to, to throw a pass into coverage, he takes the easy couple yards or 10 yards in some instances in that case it's a touchdown and with the successful point after attempt by Alex the Roach and the Rocha that makes the score of this contest 14 to nothing Mustangs already quickly out in front of the Spartans Rocha set to kick off. And ooh, another deep kick. Third consecutive kickoff for Narocha that went flying out of the back of the end zone. Touchback again. South stuck all the way back at the 20 yard line. So far, field position already a major factor in tonight's contest. South quarterback number 17, John Kinsetti. And Chris, I really like the no huddle offense. When run properly, you can keep the personnel you want to in there defensively and really take advantage of them. South keeps it on the ground here, and that is not fooling the Mustangs at all. So far, South only has one true first down, and that was in the air. South is not getting much at all on the ground game. That one uh, actually may have lost a yard. Second and 11 for the Spartans. Consetti under pressure. And oh, that one's knocked loose. Spartans recover, but what a great job by the Mustangs to pop that one loose as Consetti was under pressure and on the run. Third down situation now for the Spartans. Chris, when we were seniors, I used to love running the, 
the red ball, as we used to call it, no huddle offense, and it it really was an effective effective offense back in the Larry Petrol days. First with Jeff Diusa back at quarterback. Meantime, Spartans on third and long, play it conservative, keep it on the ground. Not anywhere near close enough for the first. That's going to bring up a fourth down punting situation. We are here in the first quarter. Maricosta Mustangs of the Manhattan Beach, California, leading the South Turn Spartans 14 to nothing. Spartans now on the punt. And fair catch called for by the Mustangs, number 19, Kyle Mann. Only 138 left to go here in the opening quarter, and the Mustangs are yet again starting out with great field position. Four receivers set. Man in motion, the ball goes to that man in motion, and oh, that play is working well. And finally, Russell out of bounds is number 24 for the Mustangs, Cody Asagi. Second down play now for the Mustangs, second and short. And it's play action. DeMarco, he plants, he throws, he's got a man on the sidelines, and oh, what an amazing catch by number 19, Kyle Nunn. That one will be enough for the Mustangs first, but boy, did Nunn use all of his 6-3 frame to go up and get that one. First and 10 Mustangs. As we near the end of the first quarter, Mustangs leading 14 to nothing. That play is called dead. Let's see what the call is. And it's against the Mustangs. It's about the only thing going wrong so far tonight for the Mustangs, looking solid on offense and defense, now first and 15. Tight end Mike Miller on the shift. It's a run play on the left tackle. That's number 33, Kevin Lockwood with the carry. Gonna bring up a second and long for the Mustangs and that will do it for this quarter. Mustangs lead 14 to nothing. Yeah, Chris, like you said, the Mustangs were able to dominate the ball on both sides, offensively and defense in that first quarter, with a 14 to nothing lead, an interception, and overall great play so far this game for the Mustangs. Again, Mike Miller on the shift, high formation, and it's a handoff straight up the middle, and oh, pounding run by number 33, Kevin Lockwood. The 6'3", 210 pound senior, really showing his uh, strength as he bursts through that line and pounds his way forward. Mustangs on yet another impressive drive. And it's a QB keeper. DeMarco just following his offensive lineman. Good push, that was about a four yard push by his uh, offensive lineman. Of course, uh, number 74, Nick Cosmata, the senior offensive lineman, one of the leaders there on the uh, left tap, I'm sorry, left guard position, really helping to push his way forward. DeMarco gets the first. Now DeMarco back to pass. He's looking left, he's looking left corner. He's got a man and oh, just overthrows Kyle Nunn. He had him for a second, none using that speed, but just couldn't catch up for it. Second down now for the Mustangs. None in motion. DeMarco under center. It's a handoff, and oh, Morgan Reese off uh, left guard there. Got it. About three yards on the play. It's going to bring up a third down situation here for the Mustangs. Marco, play action draw. Goes left, throws left, completes left. And knocked out of bounds. 
is number 19, Kyle Nunn. Just shy of the first, it's gonna bring up a fourth down situation here. Mustangs will go for it. They keep it on the ground. It's Reese, he's got a chance. Looks like he got in. No, didn't get in, but did get a first down. First and goal coming up now for the Mustangs. Another hard run by Morgan Reese. DeMarco now under center, first and goal, Mustangs. Tops back, uh-oh, fade corner, he's got a man, it's Kyle Nunn, and it's a touchdown, Mustangs. The Kyle to Kyle connection works again for the score. Yeah, Chris, this is one out of your old offensive playbook back in the Pop Warner days, the old uh, fade to the corner. Great execution there by the Mustangs, Kyle to Kyle connection, where DeMarco just lofted up perfectly. The only one that had a chance for it was none, and he brought it in for the score. And great job by Nunn to uh, really focus and concentrate on the ball in the air, tracking it beautifully into the corner, came up with the grab, but gets the Mustangs on the board yet again. And with the successful point after attempt by Alex the Roach Narocha, that makes the score of this contest 21 to nothing. Your Mustangs with a big time lead here in the second quarter. Yeah, Chris, the Chili's are gonna get a heck of a workout tonight with a lot of points that the Mustangs are putting up on the board so far as we get ready for the kickoff here. As you mentioned, the Roach has had three touchbacks to start off the game. And again, field position, another big factor. South keeps starting off on their 20. Mustangs on that last touchdown possession started at the 50. And uh-oh, ooh boy, South got lucky on that one. When they finally uh, don't get a touchback, finally get a chance to return one, and instead they fumble it out of bounds. Yeah, the returner was so shocked that it didn't go into the end zone, he didn't really have a shot to catch it. South Green Time goes to the air, and it is complete, and ooh, almost ripped out of the hands. Good play, good attempt by number three, Jackson Morrow. Not only gets the tackle, but almost ripped that one out of the hands of the uh, Spartan receiver. Meantime now on second down. Consetti under pressure and oh, he is hit. And tackled, that's number 39, Nick Vissignor. South now on the big third down play. That Mustang D is working well tonight. South, uh-oh, this could be a coverage sack. He gets it off and ooh, almost intercepted. Kellen Lockwood almost came up with the big pick there, but either way, that is a fourth down punting situation deep into the Spartan end zone. Mustang D comes up big yet again. Nice punt. Kyle Nunn decides to take it on the bounce. Ooh, he's got some space. Sees a couple holes, creates a few more. He's still on his feet. Ooh, finally brought down. But looked like a harmless play at first. Kyle Nunn made very interesting. And again, the Mustangs start off with brilliant field position. It's tough for a defense when you're giving up uh, field position and you have the opposing team's offense on your side of the ball every time. Let's see what happens this time for the Mustangs. And in motion, ball goes to that man in motion. Cody Asagi again with another uh, end around carry. Mustang coaching staff trying to be creative and finding ways to get Cody into this contest. Of course, the junior running back slash uh, defensive back lining up at receiver both times 
This time now, it's back to number six. Good old reliable here for the Mustangs. Morgan Reese, another nice carry. And that is another first and goal situation here for the Mustangs. Maricosta now shifts to the three back formation. Ball goes to Reese. Following that right tackle. Another big push by the Mustangs offensive line. Reese able to get down all the way to the three yard line. It's gonna bring up a second and goal now. Mustangs already lead this contest 21 to nothing here in the second quarter, looking to pour it on now and really seal this game early. Kyle Nunn in motion. Kyle DeMarco with the play action. He's looking left, he's trying to find someone. Throws to the corner and throws it away. Smart play by Kyle DeMarco. Avoids the sack, which would have really knocked them back around the 15 uh, yard line. Instead, it's third and goal from the three. Good play by the senior quarterback, Kyle DeMarco. Two back formation this time. And still the Mustangs keep it on the ground and that's another touchdown. Number six, Morgan Reese right up the gut of the field. Touchdown, Stangs. Again, field position a huge part of that touch touchdown as Naroche gets another point after attempt. He's been uh, busy so far in this contest. And really, Jeremy, the Mustangs defense may be the key. Mustangs D only given up one first down so far to uh, the Spartans. Which really helps set them up with good field position. Yeah, Chris, like you said, that one first down came on the first offensive play for the Spartans. So the Mustangs D had just really shut them down. And like I said, if you're a defense and you're trying to defend a short field, it's awfully hard to, especially when you're outmatched as the Mustangs offense has just outmatched the Spartan defense so far. 28 to nothing here in the second quarter now. Mustangs kicking off. And that one bounces and the roach again. It's another touchback. Yeah, this time the roach knocked that one right off the referee for a touchback. Spartans now keep it on the ground and boy, uh, South really needs to try to do something different here on offense because they are not fooling the Mustangs at all. Morgan Reese, who's been the star so far offensively, came up with a big hit there defensively that time for the Mustangs. South now on second down, option left, and oh, again, it does not work at all. Kellen Lockwood comes up with the initial hit. Jackson Moyo cleans it up. A nice team tackle by the Mustangs. Third and long now for the Spartans. Quick pass left and oh, another big hit by the defense. This time Morgan Reese comes up with the flattening hit. And as at the Spartans take a timeout, another fourth down cutting situation. Another drive by the Spartans without a first down. That will give the Mustangs most likely another offensive opportunity here with great field position. There's the kick. It's taken by Kyle Nunn. He almost returned one last time. Uh-oh. A flag comes down. Let's see if it stands because otherwise that is another touchdown. Number 19, Kyle Nunn almost returned one last time. Did return one this time. Let's see if it stands. Usually in these situations, it usually doesn't, but let's hope it does because that was another nifty return. And it is against the Mustangs. Unfortunately, that will not hold up. And we'll keep this score 28 to nothing. That will move the ball back here to the 
It's at the 36, 37 yard line. Still solid field position for the Mustangs. They decide to keep it on the ground and now they make up a lot of that yardage right away. Morgan Reese, who's been getting some great holes, really showing off his talent and skill tonight. Had a great carry. Uh-oh, looks like there is a holding call against the Mustangs. That's a shame because that was a great run by Morgan Reese. Again, that is against the Mustangs. That will be a repeat of first down. First and 12 as that hold was actually towards the end of the play. Mustangs now on the quick hit out there to uh, number 19, Kyle Nunn. Makes up a couple of those yards. It's gonna bring up second down now and long for the Mustangs. Second and seven. Marco rolling left, he's looking left, he plants, he scrambles, he keeps it, he gets the first down and gets across the 50 yard line for the Mustangs. Great job, great vision out there, great open field presence by the Mustangs, number 11, Kyle DeMarco. Of course, we are getting towards the end of the second quarter. Mustangs lead right now, 28 to nothing. Trying to see if they can get a little bit more padding uh, on the scoreboard here before halftime. DeMarco under center on first down. It's play action. He's looking deep. He's throwing deep. And oh, incomplete. Good coverage downfield by the Spartans. Of course, uh, Mustangs last week scored on two big deep ball plays. Kyle to Kyle on both of them. That time it comes up empty. Mustangs instead run the draw play. Uh-oh, big run. Oh, knocked out of bounds. That one almost went all the way. Kellen Lockwood, who's getting some good work out there tonight in the backfield. Another big run. Knocked out of bounds, first and 10 Mustangs. Timeout on the field. Two minutes and 18 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. Chris, the Mustangs in the road white and gold pants against the Spartans, the green jerseys and black pants. Marco drops back. He scrambles, he's under pressure, he keeps it, swallows it, takes the sack. Smart move. Certainly don't want to give the uh, Spartans defense a turnover, let them create any sort of momentum. Take the sack, live to, to uh, run another play here. DeMarco now on the handoff. And Lockwood again, a couple nifty loops out there. It's gonna bring up a third and about five for the Mustangs. I'll call it third and six, I formation. Maricosta DeMarco under center, fakes the uh, draw play, instead goes deep, and ooh, that was close. I think closer uh, than uh, DeMarco thought it was gonna be, but incomplete. Fourth down, DeRoach setting up for what is gonna be a 48 yard field goal attempt. Alex DeRoach Narocha. He's been very active tonight, gets all of that one. That one's got the distance. It's straight, and that one is good. Alex Narocha with the 48-yard field goal puts the Mustangs up 31 to nothing. Yeah, Chris, he had another five or seven yards to go, even with that being a 48-yarder, and it was a strong crosswind going uh, right to left on Alex's... Um, trajectory of course uh, Alex already with four point after attempts in this contest and a couple big uh, kickoffs through the back of the end zone for touchbacks including there another touchback there that makes I believe four already here in this first half certainly uh, I'm sure Alex's leg was uh, nice and warmed up with all the work he's been getting tonight 
but still 48 yard field goal, very impressive by the Ridge. Spartans keep it on the ground and get their second first down of the contest. This time they go to the air and incomplete, almost picked off. Jackson uh, Morrow had a good read on that one. Tim Cooper, trainer for the Mustangs for many years, even on the back to our days. South on the scramble. Getting, starting to get a little bit desperate there. Mustangs really getting a lot of pressure on South's quarterback, number 17, at Jonathan Setti. Really wasn't anything there, but John's starting to get a little bit desperate with this team trailing 31 to nothing. Meantime, they keep it on the ground, and again, Jackson Morrow, who's been giving some big time hits there, gets another one there, and that will finish this half. Mustangs go into halftime, leading this contest 31 to nothing. Welcome back here for the uh, second half. Of course, you remember because the Mustangs of Manhattan Beach, California lead this contest 31 to nothing. Boy, Jeremy, I don't know what's been more impressive, the Mustangs offense out there or that tough physical Mustangs deep. Or the Mustangs special teams, as we saw Kyle Nunn almost return one back and then return one back that was called back for a touchdown and the foot of Alex the Roach Narocha who hit a 48 yard field goal and multiple touchbacks. This has been a dominating performance for the Mustangs all around. Like I said in the beginning, Coach Morrow likes to schedule tough opponents early on so that when the Mustangs take on a team such as South Torrance, they don't let up and they just pour it on. Mustangs led in that first half offensively, of course, at running back number six, Morgan Reese, with an impressive first half. And on defense, Rico Wright, another interception despite the injury, and some big hits out there by Jackson Morrow and Nick Villasenor out there for the Mustangs. Now back to the second half in what was a rare situation here. Mustang starting off in bad field position for the first time. I uh, talked quite a bit about that in the first half, but the Mustangs really did start out in great field position. It just makes it so much easier for the offense. And this time, woo, Morgan Reese not going anywhere, gets about two on the play, stopped nicely by the Spartan defense going to bring up a second down and long situation for the Mustangs here in the third quarter. And it's a sweep right. Morgan Reese turns that corner, gets up field, lowers the boom, and gets good positive yardage for the Mustangs. In fact, first down yardage for Maricosta, first and 10. Mustangs here in the first drive of the third quarter. Of course, uh, Mustangs have Adam Lawrence out there at receiver. Could be setting up some trickery out here. And instead the pass goes to Jackson Morrow. Ooh, nifty cut out there by Jackson. Gets all the way down to the 40. What a nice cut. Great pattern to begin with and perfectly delivered ball by Kyle DeMarco. Mustangs now in the I formation. I left. 
And the run goes straight up the middle. Morgan Reed still pounding his way forward. High formation again, this time a power formation right. And oh, almost coming up with the nifty grab was uh, Mike Miller. Miller time, thought he had that one, trying to argue with the rest, but to no avail, third down situation now for the Mustangs. Mustangs on the counter run. That time it is again Morgan Reese with another Mustangs first down. Nice drive here by the Mustangs. Even when they start off with bad field position, that offense is rolling so much right now. Before you know it, they're on the other side of the 50. DeMarco drops straight back. He's looking middle. Doesn't see anything, decides to keep it, tries to get to the outside. He does, he's got another front. Flag comes in late, almost gets into the end zone, does finally get knocked down at the one. Let's see what that flag is, however. But great heads up play by DeMarco. Yeah, Chris, I believe Jackson Mora flattened somebody, but it was so far behind the play that they had to call it as unnecessary roughness. Well, Jackson's been very uh, aggressive out there tonight, getting some big hits. Had a key block on an earlier touchdown by the Mustangs. That one brings that one back. Morio now in motion. Sweep left. And Nice five yard gain, number 24, Cody Asagi. First, uh, third time Cody's carried the ball, the first time he's carried it out of the backfield. The other two times have been on end, end of rounds. This time now it's DeMarco on the play action. Who hits his tight end, Mike Miller, who gets it for the Mustang score. Mike Miller, Miller time. Big time catch, keeps his balance somehow and gets in for a Mustangs touchdown. You know who this reminds me of, Chris. Another great Mustang tight end who also was a basketball player, Scott the Claw Letourneau, as Miller just makes the catch, breaks the tackle, and then takes two men into the end zone with him. Touchdown Mustangs, great play. Great job by quarterback DeMarco getting the ball right in stride. Mike Miller time showing off those muscles at the end of that play. Well deservedly really muscled his way into the end zone for the Mustangs. Touchdown. Ooh, bobbled snap. And not much the Mustangs can really do on that point after attempt. Alex Narocha looking to uh, continue his streak here, but denied on the, uh, the hold that time. Either way, Mustang still lead 37 to nothing. Nearly in control of this contest. Nice drive that time by the Mustangs. They started deep in their uh, own backfield, drove all the way down and got the score little by little. Good drive as we see yet another touchback by Alex Narocha. South now goes to the air. It's complete and ooh, what a monster hit. Rico Wright and Kellen Lockwood both involved in that one, but boy, Rico really came in and lowered the boom. Rico was on the right spot at that time as he just lowered the boom like he said flattening the South Torrance receiver. That's, of course, the funny part. Uh, Rico Wright at 5'10", 165. Jackson Morrow at 5'11", 180. Certainly not the biggest players uh, on the field there, but 
certainly delivering some of the bigger hits. Pound for pound, two of the better athletes out there certainly showing it tonight. Meantime now after the penalty, first and 15 for the Spartans. And another big hit knocking the Spartans quarterback, number 17, John Consetti, out of the uh, field. Just about at the original line of scrimmage. That's going to bring up a second down now situation, second and 10. Consetti changing plays. Three receiver set. And it's a handoff straight up the middle, but boy, that was stopped from the start. Number 86 for the Mustangs, Jake Gelmini. Really stood his ground at nose tackle, did not give up any ground. South's back had nowhere to go because of it, and the Mustangs, Team D, really cleaned it up. And oh, speaking of Team D, that's an interception. Rico Wright comes up with a big time hit, number five. Dante Beavis picks it up for the interception, and another Mustangs touchdown. Like I said before, Chris, Rico just has a knack for being in the right position at the right time. And he is in the right position yet again, creating that big hit, zeroing in right at the receiver, right when the ball's coming in, knocking it loose. And then there's Dante Beavis, look at what I found, going to the house for yet another Mustang score. Rico Wright showing uh, his abilities out there despite the injury. And Dante, uh, of course, the uh, junior corner showing his ability after he picked that up. That was not only a good catch off the uh, deflection there, but showing some nifty moves out there, getting into the end zone, giving a, oh, another bad snap. I was just about to say giving a, Narocha another chance here. But again, back-to-back -back plays with uh, humbled snaps, although I'm sure at this point, the uh, Mustang coaching staff not, uh, not upset at all at this point. As of course the Mustangs lead 43 to nothing. This game uh, well in hand really early into the second quarter. And South will again start off with bad field position, starting off at the 17 yard line. South, uh, number 17, John Concetti at quarterback in shotgun. South really not able to get much going at all offensively. As we see the Mustangs, Jake Chelmini come up with another big hit, flexing his muscles. He's been active these last couple drives, coming up with big key hits. This pass is complete, tackled nicely. There appears the Mustangs number 85, Marcus Probosco comes up with the final hit. Although uh, Kellen Lockwood was certainly right there with good coverage the whole time. Quick keeper, keeper get south a couple yards. South goes back to the air now, and ooh, good open field tackle. Jeff Oshima, the junior, comes up with a very nice fundamental open field tackle. Keeping south to maybe only three yards on the play. And this time, this one's complete on the left side. South only getting about four yards uh, per play here, but that one is enough for a Spartan first down. First and 10 South, flag comes in. Let's see what the call is. Of course, the Mustangs are leading big time here in the third quarter. 
Mustangs of Maricosta High School in the white jerseys and gold pants. South Torrance Spartans in the green and black. And that one is just dropped, although I gotta think South's receiver saw number four, J.R. Oshima, who just came up with the big hit only like three or four plays ago. Coming in and closing fast on him. Interrupting the concentration. South now back to the air. It's dumped off to the back. Who is still on his feet. Breaks a couple of tackles. And will get into the end zone. That's number 21, Tyler Glandoff. Mustangs had uh, plenty of opportunities to bring Tyler down. No one really wrapped up. Of course, uh, with the score at the stage it's at now, it's of course a lot more difficult to uh, maintain your focus. But you know, hey, they had to give the coaches something to uh, focus on in uh, tomorrow's film meeting. I can imagine what uh, Ohio State. Of course, that makes the score 43 to seven. Mustangs with the lead here in the third quarter. Of course, at this stage, this starts to become a very good opportunity to maybe see some uh, potential Mustang leaders of the future. As well as a good chance to get the Mustang starters a uh, rest, keep them healthy. Already seen a couple injuries here in the uh, first week, meantime. Dalton Crawford in at quarterback. Speaking of the B team, Crawford with the handoff. That's why the first time I saw him in the pro game, I thought it was maybe the game. Kind of yeah, number uh, seven. It's good to see another number seven in at quarterback. I remember, of course, Diusa was probably the most famous number seven to, to play quarterback for the Mustangs. Time the Mustangs keep it on the ground and ooh, nice run out there. And this time it is number 33 for the Mustangs, Kellen Lockwood with the, with the carry. Of course, uh, Taji Mobley, number 27 for the Mustangs, getting some work out here as well. Trying to show the uh, coaching staff what he can do in game type situations. That time it was Cody Asagi. Cody, of course, uh, saw some carries here in the first half of tonight's contest. Two of them on end of rounds. That time he takes the direct snap out of the backfield. This time it's Moby again. Fights his way forward, gets close to the 40 yard line. Second and eight for the Mustangs. And uh oh, there's a bad snap there. Of course, uh, that can happen here. You get a quarterback and offensive linemen who don't really work all that often together can, can uh, create a fumbled snap situation. Exactly what happened there. South now takes over. And South tries to get a little bit tricky there on the QB keeper. However, the Mustangs not seeing that one at all. Not on today's game. The Mustangs read it beautifully. Only get two on the play. Consetti now. Back to pass. Rolls right, throws right. And along the sideline there, it looks like they're going to call it a catch by number three, James Sock. Consetti again with the QB keeper. That's the uh, third time they've tried to run that. That time, again, it's not getting much, but does get enough for the Spartan first down. And that will end the third quarter. Your Maricosta Mustangs lead this contest 43 to seven with one quarter left to go. Up 
a stay faithful here in strides of course south torrance very close in geographic proximity to manhattan beach that run that they called back both members of the south bay community first and ten now for the spartans they go to the ground game and that is a tackle, but nice play out there by number 52, Mitchell Reedy. Mitchell uh, started off on the D-line position, really tracked that one well, stayed with the play, and got the tackle. Spartans now on the QB keeper again. Boy, this, at this stage, uh, South really kind of going away from their offensive game plan and just trying to get anything they can. Yeah, Chris, back in our day, South Torrance and the Mustangs were in the same league, the Ocean League. Ma wow, if, if times have changed as the Spartans now play in the Pioneer League, the Mustangs in the Bay League, and the talent level is just incredibly in favor of the Mustangs as they are just pounding South Torrance so far this game. Quarterback Kinsetti out there, of course, the uh, six foot senior at this point, just trying to get some momentum going so uh, South can take something positive away from this game. And they get a little something positive there. Touchdown, Kinsetti to Kola. Flag does come in against the Mustangs for the uh, late hit well deep into the end zone. But South gets on the scoreboard. Yeah, Chris, and as the Mustangs have taken off their first team, players have been, have been working on their second team and getting their younger players some time. South Torrance has kept in their first string to try and work out some of those kinks because this is their first game of the season and in their new stadium so they need to work out their kinks in the offense because they're coming out in that no huddle and it did not look good in the first half it's looking better in the second half but then again the mustangs have their second team players in now which really uh, for the mustangs actually works out well too because then you get a chance to see their some of their second team players their backups you know, against a first team squad out there, uh, really gives uh, players like the Mustangs, uh, Cody Osagi, for example, a chance to really prove that he can play at that starting level. Yeah, we've seen some good work out of Taji Mobley running the ball. This is a good chance for those younger Mustangs. You get Dalton Crawford under center. And speaking of Taji Mobley, there he is running off the right side and uh, spinning for good yardage. Mobley showing some good power out there at the uh, running back position. Really tough to bring down. Didn't really get any action last week, so it's nice to see him uh, get some uh, play here. Again, a good glimpse at the Mustangs' future. And, oh, nice run out there again. That is Cody Asagi. Cody, who, Cody, who uh, has been getting some work uh, even earlier in the first half of this contest, definitely sh showing some uh, progress out there, some uh, potential for the future for the uh, junior running back. Of course, uh, Comedy against the Mustangs. Mustangs do have two solid tailbacks they have Kevin Lockwood who's more of a uh, bruiser pounder physical type running back and then they also have Morgan Reese who's really kind of a combo back technically he would be the uh, slash <laughs> type runner he's got a little bit more speed a little bit more niftiness but Morgan does have a lot of power behind his uh, running ability as well so Mustangs do have two solid tailbacks they can go to but if they can really start to develop you know, uh, an Asagi or a Mobley out there. If one of those uh, Mustangs tailbacks gets hurt, you know, they already have someone that can step in. As we see uh, Mobley again, some nice moves out there. Good start, stop type moves. Really showing some shiftiness. 
This is going to be a great work for both those two tailbacks. This time it's a sweep right. And uh-oh, that ball pops loose. That was Asagi with the carry. Mustangs were rotating back and forth there between Asagi and Mowgli. That one pops loose. That is a turnover Mustangs. Spartans now take over, still with their uh, first team offense out there. Kinsetti at quarterback goes deep into quadruple coverage. Almost picked off J.R. Oshima back there. Read that one pretty well. That one was even over his head. Kinsetti now, ooh, under pressure, kind of lofts that one up there. That was almost like a Brett Favre type play. Very risky. Mustangs almost come away with the pick. Instead, it's a tackle by number 34, Jeff LaPointe. The junior with the nice tackle. South gets about seven on the play, however. Creative play by Consetti, although certainly risky. Shotgun formation for South. Now Consetti walks up under center. Takes a snap, it's play action, and oh, he's under pressure already. Dumps the ball out, good coverage out there by Oshima. But that one was blown right away by the uh, quick presence of the Mustangs D-line. Consetti in communication and apparently miscommunication with his sidelines, South Forest to take a timeout. Yeah, Chris, Consetti and the Spartans offense really need to work on that no huddle offense. Like I said before, that offense has a lot of advantages. You can keep the defense off balance and with the same personnel if you run it correctly. And we see Consetti scrambling around a bit and dumping it off once again. A good gainer for the Spartans as he gets down into the red zone and near the goal line. Of course, that was uh, Consetti to Colab. That combination has been a bit of a uh, bright spot for the Spartans. As this time it's along the sideline and that one gets in for the touchdown. That time it was Keith Mitsuchi, the uh, 6 1 tight end, and a little shorter for a traditional tight end, but obviously plays well enough for the Spartans to get into the end zone. Touchdown South. South's now put three touchdowns on the scoreboard here in the second half. Yeah, Chris, and this game reminds me a little bit of the uh, North Torrens game a couple years ago when the Mustangs came out, blew out North Torrens but then North Torrance went on to win the rest of their games and advance deep into their uh, playoffs. And North Torrance is, of course, a member of the Pioneer League like South Torrance, so they play in a lower division. This is a good test for the Spartans as well as for um, the Saxons a couple years ago. So they like to, again, schedule tougher opponents to get them ready for league play. You get a quick glance of Kelly Lockwood and number eight, Mike Miller, enjoying this contest from the sideline, taking the breather. Now in at quarterback for the Mustangs is number 20, Dennis Falcone, the 5'11 junior. Dennis under center. And it's a handoff. Mobley, uh-oh, he sees a hole and uses that speed and good vision. Originally, that play started off off left guard. Mobley wisely cut it back middle and then eventually towards the right side of the field, right along that right hash there and got a nice first yard, I'm sorry, first down gain for the Mustangs. 
this time off the left tackle. It's number 32, Nigel Coronado Morris. The six foot senior with the carry. Second down and 11. Mobley again. Boy, is he hard to break down and he's still on his feet. He burst out ending towards the end zone, finally brought down at the seven, but what an impressive run by Taji Mobley. Yeah, Chris, great run by Taji Mobley. As we get to see here in the beginning, a South Torrance Spartan is hanging on his jersey. He spins, breaks free of that tackle, and then uses his nifty running to weave his way through the defense and just comes up shy of the end zone. Great run by Mobley to set up the Mustangs in a first and goal situation. Mobley definitely showing his impressive ability here, particularly in the open field using his speed and strength combination, very similar in a lot of ways to the Mustangs, number six, Morgan Reese. And this time straight up off right tackle there is number 32 again, Nigel Coronado Morris. The senior getting some work. And it close to a Mustangs touchdown. Second and goal for the Mustangs. Falcone again at quarterback. And this time that one does work for the touchdown. Touchdown Mustangs. The senior Coronado Morris excited as is his teammates for him. Touchdown Mustangs. And for that run, I'd say that deserves the Scott McAdara Award for the game play of the second half play of the game for Coronado Morris. And the point after attempt is good. Fifty to twenty is the score of this contest. Just under three minutes left to go here in the fourth and final quarter. Mustangs doing the job tonight, offensively and defensively. For those of you who do not know Scott McAdara and the McAdara Award, it's for those senior players that never give up, that always work hard in practice, that enable these Mustang players to get better to challenge them in practice and when it is time and their number is called they do deliver on the field Most things prepare to kick off leading 50 to 20 here in the fourth and final quarter First, the Mustangs of Maricosta in their white jerseys with gold pants playing against the South Torn Spartans in the green and black. Nice return out there by the Spartans. Dylan Redondo with the uh, return, of course. The Mustangs, number 80, Joshua Martin involved in that tackle. As we get a... Uh, Good look at the touchdown man, Nigel Coronado Morris. First touchdown as a Mustang uh, varsity player, I believe. Spartans now stick to the air game, and ooh, nice completion out there. That's a. Uh, Jesserun Wright with the catch. Of course, uh, John Concetti still at quarterback for the Spartans, really trying to find his rhythm, particularly with his teammate receivers. Still out there. And this time he rolls right, throws right, and that is complete. A flag does come in, and it is against the Spartans. James Song had the reception for South. However, that play is coming back. The 
Second down now for the Spartans. Consetti under pressure, scrambles, creates some space and gets a completion again to James Song. Nice reception. Of course, good tackle out there by the Mustangs, number 55. Consetti now looking left. He's rolling left. He throws left and completes. Nice first down reception by Kolev. Again, Kolev has been Consetti's favorite target here tonight. And timeout on the field, 124 left to go. This game pretty much wrapped up here for the Mustangs. Consetti now throwing sideline right, incomplete. Good coverage out there by Troy Seaman. The junior corner. Consetti has a uh, running back screen left working here. First, Keith Mitsuchi with a nice reception. First down run for South. Consetti, oh, got out of a little bit of trouble. Could not get out long enough. Number 52, Mitchell Reedy involved, involved with that hit. Romel Rodriguez also involved. Consetti looking corner end zone. Good coverage out there. Oh, great catch and nice touchdown. Again, that is Kolev. So if the Spartans can take anything away from tonight, it's that Consetti to Kolev match. That's worked very well for them tonight. 50 to 27 for his final six seconds of this contest. Maricosa, of course, has pretty much had this one in hand since second quarter, but South at least building up a little bit of confidence here, a little bit of rhythm in their offense. Maybe they can take that to their next contest and more importantly to league play. Mustangs new time. This should do it. Nice return and that should do it. Cody Asagi with the return and in fact that does do it. Your America's Costa Mustangs with this contest 50 to 24. I'm sorry, 50-27, the final oh, yeah. on the board. Jeremy, impressive win by the Mustangs. Offensively, defensively, special teams, they really threw out the whole package. Who impressed you the most tonight? Wow, that's a tough one to say. I'd have to pick one from each of the Mustangs, uh, um, offense, defense, and special teams. From special teams, I would go with the Roach, uh, Alex Narocha with his touchbacks and his 48-yard field goal. Uh, offensively, I would have to go with um, Morgan Reese leading it on the ground. And defensively, that's a tough one. Again, I would go with either Rico Wright with his incredible interception with the cast on or Jackson Morrow just being everywhere all night long. Again, a great performance by the Mustangs all around. And as you see, they are ready for their next big challenge, which will come Thursday night against Esperanza, big time football rival at Maricosta for the home opener. Of course, uh, also a great chance for us to get to see some of the Mustangs of the future. Uh, Taji Moli had some great carries uh, down the stretch. You, you really showing off his uh, combination of power and speed, as well as uh, number 24, Cody Asagi had some good first half carries and second half carries. Good sign for the future for the Mustangs. Fans, thanks for tuning in. For Jeremy Sadowski, I'm Chris Lee signing out. We'll see you next week.